Hiya Islanders, it's Feather Song, and today I am going to talk to you all about chrysanthemums. First of all, they come in 10 different colors. We've got red, pink, purple, chrome, blue, cyan, light green, white, black, and mundane. Um, my favorite one is the chrome one here um, because it changes color. Um, right now, during the day, it's a really pretty kind of um, purpley blue um, kind of color kind of matches me <laughs> um, so now I'm going to tell you about breeding them um, first I'm going to tell you some combinations and get them watered um, and then I'll tell you about how I planted these while they um while we wait for them to grow so we've got blue and I mean black and cyan, red and red, black and blue, and purple and white. Um, and in about 10 minutes, we'll get to see what pretty colors come out of them. Now, um, as you can see, I've got them laid out in kind of like a grid, um, and that is because you want the right color chrysanthemum to breed with the color that you wanted to breed with. So, for example, you want this black one to breed with cy this cyan. You don't want it to breed with one of the red ones. So, in order to get two chrysanthemums to not breed with each other, you're going to put two spaces between them. And in order to get chrysanth chrysanthemums that you do want to breed together, you're going to put one space between them. So, um, basically, these stones are marking off telling the um, new flowers where they should grow. Um, so the way it's set up, the new flowers will grow along here and along here. Um, and we just have to wait about maybe like eight more minutes and we'll see what we end up with. But now to go back to the um, this chrome one, which now is looking more light blue. Um, but anyways, uh, one of the really cool things about it that I don't see people talking about, um, and I don't know why because I think it's pretty awesome, is the fact that you can make chrome glass. Um, and let's make a few of them here. Okay, there's a half dozen. Um, when you put them out, Look how pretty they are. This pretty purpley blue color. It goes with me so well. <laughs> um, but the cool thing is right now during the day it's this cool um, purpley blue color. Uh, but I'm going to switch it over to nighttime. And you'll see that at night they turn black. You can't even see them anymore. But believe me they're still here. <laughs> there you can see them um, and I just think that's really cool and the, even the one that's planted over here has turned black as well um, so I don't know why people don't mention the um, the chrome glass because I just think it's so um, pretty let's see what time of day it is for real I guess it's nighttime <laughs> um, I'm going to put it back today because I just like looking at it. There we go. Um, so there it is in all its prettiness. It's matching the sky right now. Um, anyways, um, I have started decorating with that glass. And as you can see here, I've um, been planting it or planting it. Yeah, <laughs> been placing it. Um, along with the amethyst blocks and I made this um, pretty wall and at night um, it's still pretty with the blocks black. I think that's pretty striking, you know, it, both in daytime and nighttime how those chrome blocks look. Um, but there are also all of these uh, ones that I watered over here these are the combinations that don't require bees um, but there are of course a bunch of chrysanthemums that do require bees 
and um, I'm an OG so what that means is I've been playing since the beginning and in the beginning when the bees nest first came out um, there was no limit as to how many bees nests you would end up with it was it was random and on this island I got seven bees nests um, and four of them are right here we've got uh, one two three and four so this makes a really good spot to um, plant the chrysanthemums that need bees um, the color combinations that need bees are red and blue purple and pink and red and black and um, the best time to water these oh I forgot these up here oh no I didn't I already said red and blue they make purple by the way <laughs> um, <clears throat> the best time to water these is uh, first thing in the morning when the bees come out then they can um, pollinate them first thing during the day let's see what time it is game time it is for real right now it's and it's morning oh a perfect time um, the bees are coming out so let's um, water these I've got um, daisies mixed in here too um, to breed cyan daisies so we'll be getting those too oh this one right here this purple one is not fertile as you can see it just says purple chrysanthemum but across from it is a fertile pink chrysanthemum so we will get one flower out of it so I put um, an amethyst block here to remind myself that there's not going to be a flower here and this can't be watered because it's not fertile um, so let's water the rest of these when I'm watering I like to um, make sure that my um, my character is moving the watering can that way I know that I'm watering the plant because you can't always see the um, the water drops I don't remember if I got this one um, and then I have a couple up here um, again what you want to do is plant these away from each other um, these right here this black and red and black and red they technically are not planted far enough away so sometimes these two reds might breed together and sometimes these two blacks might breed together um, it's fine if the two reds breed together because a white one will come but um, if the two blacks decide to breed together they'll make a mundane um, but sometimes I get colored ones so I don't have much space here unfortunately um, because like my shop is right here um, unfortunately I built stuff where all of my bees or my the bulk of my bees nests are so um, I kind of have to like uh, build around um, so anyways we'll come back to this area um, and see what was planted in approximately 10 minutes from now um, but let's go back to the other area and see if those plants have come up and by the way I put chrome blocks here around my door and on the edges of the building because I just think it's so pretty I'm in love with these chrome blocks um, if you can't tell <laughs> let's check these out down here see what they've done they have not sprouted up yet so um, they should be in a few more minutes uh, I'll come back to you when they do Okay, Islanders, so the flowers are starting to pop up now. Let's see what colors we end up with. There should not be any mundanes. Just need these to. Okay, so um, over here we've got the black and cyan made blues, the two reds made white, the black and blue made light green, and the purple and white made pink. 
Um, something that I forgot to mention um, about the the design of this. Um, if you wanted to breed other flowers, you could put them in here in where these spaces are. So, um, say I wanted to breed, um, let me get some grass. Basically, as long as the same type of flower has two blocks in between them, they're fine. So, um, if I wanted to breed, uh, for example, these red lilies, um, I could put them like that and water them and they would get black. And if I had another flower, which I don't have any fertile ones right here, I don't think I have any in my inventory either. No, I don't have any fertile flowers with me right now, but um, if I had another flower that was not a chrysanthemum or a lily, I would plant it right here. And you could do that all the way down and not have these um, blocks here. So um, let's check on the B ones and see if they um, if the flowers have come up for those yet. Okay, they haven't come up yet, so um, I'll be back with you when they do start to pop up. Okay, Islanders, so they've started popping up. Um, let's see what we get. Um, again, there should not be any mundanes except um, for the uh, possibility of ones over here. But anyways, as you can see, we are getting um, our cyan and chrome ones popping up here um, and I don't remember if I mentioned it or not but I do have the um, the daisies planted in here as well and like I showed with the other section um, you can have flowers in between the um, the chrysanthemums as long as they're a different kind of flower so that's why I've got the chrysanthemum and the daisy. If I had a third flower, it would go here and then chrysanthemum, daisy, chrysanthemum, daisy. Um, so it looks like a couple more over here and then a couple up here and then some more over there um, need to come up. But anyways, as you can see, um, red and blue make purple, my favorite color. Um, the purple and pink make the chrome this is my favorite chrysanthemum um, and for daisies the red and white make the cyan daisies um, so it looks like everything has popped up um, this one where I said that there's a possibility of a mundane we did get one mundane um, that's because these two black ones bred together instead of the black and white or black and red, I mean. <laughs> um, anyways, black and red make cyan. And as we already know, red and red make white. So, um, and then we got our, our chromes over here. So that is basically everything that you need to know about chrysanthemums. I hope you found this helpful. Um, and good luck with your chrysanthemum growing now that you know uh, everything that you need to do to get them without having very many mundanes. Bye!